Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at our third part in our series, You Must Be Born Again. So let's come before the Lord. Lord, we just praise you and give you the glory and the honor. And Father, we just pray that you would bless these studies for your glory, Lord, in your name. Amen. Okay, we've looked at Nicodemus was religious. We've looked at Nicodemus was seeking. And then thirdly, Nicodemus was challenged. If we turn to John chapter 3, verse 3 to 8. John chapter 3, verse 3 to 8, we read, In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man be born when he is old, Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus, I said, Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases, you hear its sound. But you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. You see, my dear friend, the word spirit there, born, born again of, of the Spirit, the Greek word born again means born from above. The Holy Spirit comes and dwells in your heart. And the Spirit of God is God in love, joy and peace. Okay? And Nicodemus was full of religion. He was full of reading his Old Testament. He was full of religious regulations, but he didn't know the life of God in the soul of man. He didn't know the Spirit of God coming into his life. And you know, Christianity is not just about going to church, it's about having a relationship with the living God. And so Nicodemus was challenged to say, look, forget your religion, the Lord was saying, forget your religion, you need a intimate dynamic relationship with me and it comes through the Holy Spirit it's kind of like like this water in in this jar you know it fill the water fills this glass up and God wants to fill you up with his Holy Spirit let's turn to John chapter 1 verse 12 to 13 John chapter 1 verse 12 to 13 says To all who receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. You see, when you believe in Jesus, you become born of God. The Holy Spirit dwells in your heart. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10 and 15 but God has revealed it to us by his spirit the spirit searches all things even the deep things of God for who among you of men knows the thoughts of man except the man's spirit within him the same way no one knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God we have not received the spirit of the world but the spirit of who is from God that we may understand that God has freely given us this is what we speak not in words taught by human wisdom but in words taught by the spirit expressing spiritual truths in spiritual words the man without the spirit does not accept the things of that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. So in other words, you can only understand the Spirit by the Spirit. You can only understand by God, by his Spirit. And Nicodemus was challenged. He needed the Holy Spirit to come into his life. And that's the challenge, my friend. So let the Holy Spirit come into your life. Ezekiel chapter 36. You'll never ever get to know God purely by intellect. 
It will never ever happen. Ezekiel 36, 25. Twenty five to twenty seven. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit in you and, and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my law. So God's saying, I'll put my Holy Spirit in you. But you need to say, Lord, please fill me with your Holy Spirit if you want to get saved. Okay, will you do that? We invite the Holy Spirit in today. Why not pray, Lord, come into my life and you'll be blessed when the Holy Spirit comes. Okay, thank you for listening and take care.